Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to delete most of the system storage that you may have on your device. Now I'll go ahead and tell you the system storage that you do have on your phone in order for you to get there you have to click on general, scroll down into iPhone storage. If you scroll down you'll probably see system storage all the way at the bottom. Now I will tell you system storage is usually very normal you know it's okay to have a couple of gigs even in your storage and the system storage but if for some reason you have like 50 gigs taken up or you have like 20 or something like crazy number then you can use some of these tactics in order to fix it and the very first thing you want to do is go into your iphone storage so go into general click iphone storage and what you want to do is scroll up and usually one of the top ones it may say some type of software update now on here it says on my iphone this one doesn't really matter these are usually things usually within like the files app or downloaded things or whatever but you want to see if there's some sort of software update weighted on your phone or downloaded on your device but it just hasn't been implemented yet so basically what this is is you will see like ios 14 beta update or you'll see an ios 13.6 or something in the future and basically what you want to do is you want to click on that update and you want to delete that update if you don't need it now if you need it then it's totally fine but if you don't need it, then deleting that will actually alleviate some of that system storage which you have down here. So that's one way to go about doing it. Another thing you can do, which I did before, and this takes away both the other storage and system storage, is to clear the cache between some apps. So what you can do is go into certain apps like Snapchat or whatever. We'll use Snapchat as an example. If you go into their settings and if you go up here to their settings right here, you'll see an option that says clear cache or whatever. It's, I think it's at the bottom. So right here, as you can see, it says clear cache. Now, what you can do for all these different apps is to find the setting. So you can do clear cache, clear search history, clear whatever. And you just want to clear as much stuff as possible because these things are taking up storage in your phone. So you can click clear cache here. Now, for me, it's not going to take up that much because I don't use this specific phone. But if you use your phone all the time and Snapchat specifically, clearing the cache will help alleviate some of that, if not probably most of that. But again, you pretty much have to do that on all your apps. Now another thing you can do is clear cache within Safari, which I showed you before in that other video. So in order to do that, all you need to do is go back into your settings. You want to scroll down into Safari, which is right here. You want to scroll down until you eventually see a clear history and website data. So you can go and tap that, tap that again, and you should be able to clear out some of that system storage again. Now sometimes this is system, sometimes this is other storage. So that's probably one of the main things I would recommend as well. Another thing, you can go into your photos and delete your recently deleted photos. So in order to do that, you want to tap on the photos right here. You want to scroll down into recently deleted, which is right here. And you just want to basically delete all the photos that are in here. So sometimes this isn't even saved under the photos. This is saved under system or other storage. So you can go ahead and delete all these things in here. That'll fix out a lot of that stuff too. But the number one thing I would probably recommend a lot of people to do is to pretty much factory reset your device. First of all, back up everything, do an iCloud backup, do a iTunes backup, a files backup, whatever you need to, and back up your device. And then at that point, you should probably go and factory reset it and then restore all that data. In my opinion, the best thing I'll probably do is to, first of all, delete anything I don't need on my phone in the beginning with. So if I don't need the Uncovered Jailbreak anymore, if I don't need Delta or PPS, SPP or all these other apps, I would go ahead and delete them first, delete out anything else I don't need, and then back it up factory reset it and then restore it and that's pretty much the process i would do when it comes down to it so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much for you guys to get hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my main channel more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them.